Hi there. Let's talk about some different modules and some different settings in the, the module area on our 250 series combine. So the first thing I want to touch base on is concave pinch point. So located up in this area right here, when we're talking about concave pinch point, basically it's the tightest position of the concaves to the rotor. On flagship combine, so it's been true since the 8010 combine, we want that pinch point set dead center of the rotor. So basically where the two modules come down from the left and right side, we want that pinch point set so it's tightest at the dead center position on that concave frame. So we want that concave sitting tight in the middle of the combine. Very important. We don't want it sitting off to the left or right. You're going to find the best performance when it's set in the middle. The modules on a flagship combine are all interchangeable. So we have position one, two, three, and four on the left side. So all of the left side modules are interchangeable with each other. We can put the small wires in the back. We can put the large wires up front, however you want to, however you want to set them up. Okay. Talking about hard thresh conditions a little bit. So we have the option that we can run a hard thresh module. You can see here we've got lar uh, small wire modules in there and we can change them out to put hard thresh modules in there. So if you're in really tough conditions, if you've got the, the wheat is baked into the head, two bolts up on top, that module will drop down, slide out, and you can change it to whatever module you want based on your crop conditions. Very common setup is how you see this one set up right here. We have two small wires in the front, two large wires in the back end of the combine. The other thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is our new adjustable vanes. So located up in this area right here on top of the rotor cage, I'm just going to crawl up there. If you look up here, you're going to see some linkage up there that you've never seen in the past. You're going to see your vane position indicator and you'll see the actuator located up there. We have the ability to adjust those from in the cab if you have the electric adjust and we'll point out a button located in the battery compartment in a minute. All right, so let's talk about the pre sieve button. So this is a new one with automation becomes electric pre sieve adjustment. So we have a button located down here for calibration purposes if you need to calibrate the actuator on that pre sieve. So you can open and close from down here. You can also do it from in the cab. And then the third option is the automation adjusts when the automation system is running in the field. Okay, so on our cage vane linkage, you can see where my finger's pointed. We have an indicator indicating whether it's in the very slow, slow, medium, or fast position. So as the cage vanes adjust, this linkage will move back and forth, and it will change the angle of those vanes. Rotor gearbox shifter, so a three-speed rotor gearbox located on this handle just under here. Chopper stationary knife located right here. So this pulls the knives in and out. Pull out, pull down for adjustment or up to drop the knives out. Pretty straightforward that way. 